Hey, welcome to February New Market. Here's three things you need to know about what happened in January and three things that we expect to happen in February. All right, first, January was a really slow month. Only had 39 sales, and the majority of those sales happened in the second half of the month. In fact, those 39 sales were the fewest number of sales in a January that I have on record dating back to 2011. Two, the average sale price was actually the highest we've seen in eight months. The average and median sales price of a home in Newmarket was the highest it's been since May of 2022. However, I do feel that this has a lot to do with our third point, which is the lack of inventory. The end of December, there was only 85 active listings on the market. And then the end of January, we finished with 102 active listings. Hadn't really gone up a lot, especially when you compare that to the years of 2018 and 2019. In the months of January in those years, there was 280 and 250 active listings at the end of January. So as you can see, compared to those times, we are really short on inventory. All right, so what's next? Well, one, since the Bank of Canada hiked interest rates again at the end of January, and also signaled that this could be the last of the hikes, we are really expecting the market to start to heat up as buyers come off the sideline. There were 11 of the 39 sales in the month that were actually at or above the asking price with a good number of those sales coming near the end of the month. But the over asking prices were not nearly as crazy as they were a year ago. Two, don't let the headlines fool you. There is going to be a lot of media reports talking about how prices have come down so much. And to be honest, they had come down from the peak of 2022, which was February. All right, what's gonna be missing is a lot of context. How quickly the prices rose and then how quickly they adjusted back down. It's also important to keep in mind that the average price and median price are actually higher at the end of January than they were at the end of May of last year. All right, three, we do expect to see more inventory coming and a lot of it's gonna be more reasonably priced. So what's that mean if you're a buyer, Get yourself ready, get your pre-approval done and make sure you're ready to go, have your deposit ready. If you're a seller, make sure you have realistic expectations and you're working with a team or an agent that has experience in pricing homes and presenting them in more challenging markets. All right, and if you're like me and you like to geek out on detailed market stats, you can get our most recent edition of The Market by clicking the link below.